Hi, and welcome to Utah Crossbow. Today, we're going to be talking about my very first crossbow, my very first episode of ever doing anything on YouTube, or as far as that goes, a video. So today is, today is a lot of first, so let's get started with today's show. Okay, so we're here at 20 yards, and let's find out how things are going to go here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cock my crossbow, and you see I got a draw. These don't come with the uh, the crossbow, but you can buy these anywhere for the drawstring for your crossbow, this particular crossbow. Oh, but first thing let's do, let's lube the rail. Um, any type of lube rail will work as long as it says lube rail on the uh, thing and I got uh, this lightning lube that I use it's actually a pretty good uh, rail lube so let's get this sucker all lubed up and then uh, kind of evenly spread this out here get up underneath the uh, safety there a little bit and a little bit here underneath the drawstring okay now we're ready so let's draw this sucker back and take it down range This is a 175 pound draw and it goes at about 245 feet per second so but later on in a different show we're going to do uh, do a um, speed test on it here and uh, see how it does so this is an automatic safety that comes with this it just sits right here so let's take the safety off put it in the firing position and let's take it down range Let me first turn on my Ramonelli uh, sports cam down there and let's take it down range. So I'm gonna be shooting at the center. Actually I'm gonna go to the upper uh, the upper one since it was saying I was shooting a little bit low and I don't want to hit my Ramonelli. So let's shooting way low so and I was shooting at the upper middle one and you can see it's pretty much a bullseye at uh, at 20 yards at the uh, the first bar on here so let me see if I can get this thing to come up a little more and I can't so there's my first problem with this center point with this crossbow um, I'm shooting low with it at 20 yards um, like I guess it looks like yeah, it looks like it's a bullseye from here on the uh, target shooting at 20 yards let's see and I was shooting again at the upper target and this particular site has three four four bars 
that go across for the 20, 30, 40, and 50 yard line. So, um, it is shooting basically low, almost to my, to my 30, 20 and 30 yard line. So, I'm gonna to have to figure this out to where the scope, I can make the scope work with my target and arrows. So let me get back to you on that. Okay, so I got my chief engineer here. Uh, we've been shooting this crossbow for about roughly an hour, trying to figure out uh, my windage and elevation and all that kind of good stuff. So what I figured out so far is that this uh, center point scope that I have on here just isn't going to work. Uh, I got it maxed out on the left and I still need to go to the left, left just a little bit. Just a little bit. So the, the right and left is pretty close. But again, it's still too far to the, uh, uh, to the left a little bit and I can't uh, get that adjusted anymore. Uh, but my uh, elevation I'm at my second, my, basically the 30 yard line on this particular here crossbow. But another thing I'm also having problems with is I got these cheap uh, Chinese made 16 inch arrows um, and they are awful. This toy, they're called the Shadow or Shero, S H A R R O W. Um, they're awful. Um, they're, they're just flying everywhere. So I think between getting, I need to get some new arrows. Um, and I'm, I get, I'm going. I'm going to say I'm going to need a different scope. Uh, this one just isn't um, good enough for for this particular crossbow. Uh, the one that came with the crossbow, it was kind of cheap, maybe a five dollar uh, plastic three dot um, uh, scope that I really didn't like. That's why I changed the, the, the uh, scopes, and so I just so I got rid of that one. I just said just threw it in the trash. I don't need a plastic scope. Uh, I want a good solid scope for my crossbows. So um, I'm going to say that I'm going, I will do this work on this crossbow some more. I want to get a new scope for it. I'll get some new arrows. It says it, it came with three aluminum arrows, um, and I have shot the heck out of those and uh, basically destroyed them uh, as I should, you know, over the time, you know, the tips came out, uh, the knocks came off, and I lost them in my other target that I had. And so, because um, I just buried one in my cardboard background. And so, because it shot really high. Cause these, so these things are just flying all over the place. Uh, they're not even coming close to a lot of this stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to order. Uh, these are carbon, they say they're carbon uh, fiber arrows. Maybe they are, but again, I didn't weigh any of these yet. Um, so I'm going to, uh, and that's going to, we'll go on the weighing here in, in another episode of all the arrows and how I weigh them and, and the scale I use and all that stuff. But uh, I've come to the conclusion that I need to get uh, probably the aluminum arrows for this um, and the, uh, in another scope so uh, but it does as far as the shooting goes why this thing is very smooth shoots very well loads up very well um, so uh, it's got a 10 inch power stroke which I like uh, so it shoots it shoots really good except for I'm saying it is probably for, probably for the arrows and for the scope putting these two together to make uh, a better Make the crossbow better so um, I'm going to get another order of those and here's my other engineer say hi say hi say hi okay so I got my engineers out here I'm missing one engineer he's out here somewhere uh, so um, we'll work on this and then when I get it all taken care of we'll we'll come back out when I get my new arrows my new uh, sight we'll come back out and we'll do it all over again Okay, so some of the things we had outside, and we talked about them a little bit, was this uh, Nikon um, uh, Cool Shot 40i uh, rangefinder. Again, it doesn't make a difference the type of rangefinder you have, as long as you have a rangefinder uh, to 
to uh, measure out your distance because don't gas, make sure it's accurate, especially shooting a crossbow. Um, you want to range out your animal, make sure it's a good range, and adjust it on your, ski, your sheet and your scope, set at the right amount of uh, yardage for your uh, shot so you don't have any wounded deer, a good kill. And of course, you got to have something to drink. I have my Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Mm, I tell you, the combination of these two, can't beat it. So, so also make sure um, you have uh, string wax. Um, I bought this at uh, Walmart uh, a while back and it works out pretty good. Um, so make sure you got this just to uh, uh, put wax on your string. So when you already feel like your string is dry, just put both some wax on it. And this is my engineer here again. Say hi. All right. Uh, one thing I talked about, I kind of screwed up on, was this Raminelli um, uh, cam here. It's really actually a really nice cam. Takes great pictures and stuff. But while I was out there, I didn't realize it until I got inside of this operator error uh, with this uh, cam. So. Eventually, you know, in the future, they will be, I will be using this here. Uh, um, it's a lot of shots. So, again, the operator error, so you couldn't see what exactly was going on, and I apologize for that. And of course, like I said, it does come with this uh, little remote. Um, so this remote is actually pretty nice. Uh, this uh, uh, lightning loop that you put on the rails. I, it depends on what the manufacturer says. Uh, when I do use it, I use it about every six to ten. Uh, so, arrows that I shoot. So it comes out pretty good. I mean, it lasts quite a while. Uh, but we got some hot heat, hot hotness out there right now. So it was about 72 degrees outside uh, when we started shooting. When I came inside, it said 72, uh, but it is now up to. 85 out there outside right here in southern Utah. Then again, like I said, I was using this uh, uh, Gillen. I guess it's Gillen, Gillen G A L L E N. Um, laser decided at 10 yards. Make sure you have something like this. It, it just saves you oh, so much time. Because I didn't have this the first time that I sighted in my cross, uh, that Jaguar crossbow the first time. And it took forever. And I was way, and I was glad I had a huge backdrop. Because that was way off. Uh, and I said, I talked about these arrows a little bit outside the Char the Charles, S H R R O W. Again, I was not impressed with them. Uh, they were all over the place. So I wouldn't buy these. Uh, I said Chinese, it's actually from China, a knockoffs. Uh, but they're really, really hard to find here in the U.S. for U.S. made arrows. Uh, I don't know why they don't make these 16 inch arrows in the U.S. But with that set, the Jaguar website, uh, jaguar.com, which I have up here behind me, uh, does have other arrows. It does have the, uh, uh, the 16 inch uh, for 49 bucks and on their website. Uh, and also a 20 inch and then they have the uh, uh, carbon fiber also on their website. So again, that's a Jaguar, uh, jaguarcrossbows.com. So um, they do have those on their website. So I don't know if they're made somewhere else and they, they, and they buy them or what, I really don't know. Uh, so, but they do have those. Uh, this crossbow is on uh, Amazon, but if you, you got other areas that you use to buy crossbows that's fine you can use whatever you want but they have it on there for uh 183 40. it comes with you know like i said six loop uh, five i'm sorry three aluminum arrows um uh, the quiver the crossbow of course no drawstring i mean not, not the drawstring yeah the drawstring so they don't come with the drawstring uh, so you have to buy that individually again you can pick these up pretty much anywhere 
that you go to your favorite uh, store. I happen to get mine at Walmart, but my Walmart here stopped selling crossbow stuff for whatever reason. I don't know, but so um, that's the way it goes, I guess. Okay, final thoughts on this crossbow. Um, I like it, uh, but again, I want to go back in time when I was, uh, before I changed the, the, the scopes on here, and I had uh, this scope. I had this scope on there before, this one right here, this CV Life uh, 6x24x50 by by uh, scope on here. Uh, yeah, that you could reach out and touch somebody with that scope, but uh, I changed it when I got my, I took that one off, put it on my Savage 17 at uh, WSM for my coyote hunting. But anyways, back to the crossbow. So I put this uh, this center point um, uh, scope on here. It came off of this. I said it came off my center point um, pile driver over the paper. Anyways, that's another story. So anyways, I put this one on here. The thing I think I found out with these uh, scopes is that uh, this one's rated for this th about 390-ish range. And this shoots at 175. So I'm thinking that makes a huge, huge, huge difference. Along with, well, I guess getting the right arrows might help out too. And if I could throw this one off and not hit anything, I would throw it in the trash, which I probably will be into it eventually. So my overall impression of this scope, of this uh, package I had before uh, was great. Um, I don't recommend putting on the rifle scope on there, but that's all I had at the time. And I used it and I, you know, the good success with that. Um, you know, shooting at 20 and 30 or 40 yards with it, it was great. It was dialed in. But like I said, I shot it so much, I changed my string twice. Um, so you know, I just, I probably put through over the past couple of years, I'm going to say about 500 shots. Uh, these strings actually last quite a while. So, um, but, um, Again, that wasn't every day going out and shooting and stuff. It was about once a week going out and doing about uh, 20 to 30 arrows. But uh, the overall length of it, this thing is really nice. You know, 35 inches. Uh, the tip to tip is 20, almost 27. Power draw here is at uh, 10, and with it cocked is at uh, 23 and a half inches. So uh, it's still pretty compact, except for the width is. is uh, with the, with, the, with the recurve crossbow, it's going to be a little bit wider than it is with a uh, compound uh, crossbow. It's not time to get some of these compound crossbows at 13, 14 inches across and cock to come down to like 10 inches. So I got the, again, I got the scope maxed out to the max and it's not gonna go any further. So I tried everything I could um, to uh, get the sight in, but it just, uh, again, I, I'm, the scope it just not, does not match this crossbow. So I'm going to have to get a new crossbow, I mean, a new uh, uh, scope for my crossbow. So I'm probably going to end up ordering it from uh, Jaguar here, which is fine. Um, but another thing is, um, I don't know off my final thoughts, is I did was using this Raminelli out there. However, operator error. Um, it shuts off, it, I have it set to shut off after two minutes of non-setting, and I forgot to turn it back on. So I didn't get any video with it. Um, but it is a good little uh, uh, 4K um, GoPro type thing, but it's not GoPro, it's just a Raminelli. It comes in about uh, way cheaper than the GoPros. But I don't use the video off of it. I, I use the video off it's got a very good video. It matches pretty good with the GoPros, but the sound on it, not all that good. So um, I'm going to be trying some other things to see if I get the sound to improve. But I'll do a review on it or in a comparison with my GoPro uh, eventually in the uh, another episode here on Utah Across the So next time I'll make sure that. Uh, it's on. Now, I do have my engineers around here. That's who you hear in my background probably is my engineers, and I'm trying to talk over them.
so they're over there playing. So uh, with that, um, have a good day. Great hunting. Uh, enjoy your crossbow. Whatever you have, enjoy it. Uh, enjoy your family. And most of all, get out there and hunt.